Hey guys, Staple Gun here. Welcome back to the channel. And today is another episode of Staple Speaks. As you know, Staple Speaks is a series where I talk literally anything about the football world. Now, this one is going to be a little different as this Staple Speaks is going to lead into a two part series. This is the first part of the two part series, while the next Staple Speaks is going to build up on the topic and it's going to be the second part. However, let's get right into it. As you can figure out by my accent, I am Indian, okay? I am born in India, have Indian parents, and honestly, it's a perfect place to be a football fan because all the matches always happen at night time, and it's a lot easier for you to watch. And if you don't recognize it, and you probably won't because cricket is the most popular sport over here, but India is football crazy. We have one of the biggest stadiums in the world, in the Salt Lake Stadium in Ke in uh, Kolkata, with 120,000 capacity as one of our stadiums. And a stadium in Kerala, the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium, is a 54,000 capacity stadium that has often been referred to as the uh, as the Yellow Wall of the East, even by British Dortmund fans as well. So if you don't recognize it, India is pretty football crazy. However, we have a really bad football team. Our best player is 36 years old and we're not even going to get into it. So this is going to be my video on how to become a footballer in my country, the beautiful country of India. So today, I'm going to be explaining how our divisions work and basically explaining Indian Sunday League. So let's get right into this video. So we're going to start with actually breaking down this entire thing. So the Indian Football Association has decided to use a state level distribution of the entire football leagues because India is a huge country with over 1 billion people. Obviously to decode the best footballers, you're going to need a much layered, much more layered system than in probably England, France, Germany, Spain, in all these countries just because of the amount of mass uh, this country has. So, in generally, by our government since the 40s and the 50s, we've had 28 states. And uh, these 28 states have close to or around 30 football leagues. Now, these can be either state-wise, as in the Odisha board and the Jammu and Kashmir board, while some have individual cities like Bangalore and Delhi and Bombay and Pune. And all these cities these big cities have their own individual football leagues now most of these football leagues are divided into four divisions there are four separate divisions like if the top division is the premier league there'll be a premier league there'll be a championship underneath there'll be a league one underneath and there'll be a league two underneath now the easiest way of getting into these divisions is through joining football academies who most of them have already signed up. Now, the thing is that these, all these leagues compete. These winners of the leagues all compete at the end of all of their seasons to gain spots or gain a spot, I should say, because there's only one spot for grabs in the I-League, which is India's national division. It's the Indian Football Association's official division. And, um... It has been going on for quite some time. It's been going on ever, be even before our independence. And this football system is old, but it's a pretty detailed system. And it's a league that goes throughout the entire year. So that is one way into the football system. And this is the basic shell of India's football system. So I also want to discuss what should be your ultimate goal as a footballer in India. Obviously, the I-League is there, but it's definitely not the best league in India. That would go to the Indian Super League. It's a privately owned thing, a privately owned league that is run by Hero, which are huge people, Hero and Reliance. They're big people in India, moguls. 
they are it's run by the ambanis who are some of the richest people in the world and um the winner of the indian super league gets to, a chance to play in the afc champions league which is the equivalent of the champions league in europe the top teams in asia compete and play and the indian super league schedule is a lot more like Ch- chinese super league schedule which is all gathered up towards the end of the year where every team goes with each other it's one of the most watched leagues in the world just because of the fact that india has 1 billion people so there's a lot bigger audience that they are targeting and you can play and you can play in the same league as some huge stars of the game names like alessandro del piero adrian mutu tim cahill david james these are huge names that have played in the indian super league so i think this should be your ideal goal and i'm also going to use this to discuss the ongoing struggle that's going between the i league and the indian super league so the indian super league is currently the guys who are getting that afc champions league spot but originally that honor used to go to i league winners so now they are feeling that they are not getting an opportunity so now currently we have a super cup which they are playing which an i league team gets to and then the second the, the runners up in the i league the runners up in the uh, ISL play the winners of the I league to discuss who gets the second spot however currently the struggle is going on to make the I league the second division so the ISL becomes our premier league the I league becomes our championship so this is the current struggle going on and if this happens and if the I league becomes the second division it would be perfect cuz it would make things much easier for the average person in the world in india actually to become a footballer and this will make my video and my content much easier on this sort of topic so now let's go into trying and actually breaking down this district level system So now I'm going to try and discuss the district level system that we have in India. So as I discussed there are around 30 different football leagues and each have four divisions. Now the thing I didn't discuss is that there are only three kinds. There are under 17, under 19 and under 23 tournaments that you can enter in. Now obviously it's best to start young and also in these four divisions we have a uh, three of each also there's a women's division as well but that is without an age limit so that's a lot more involved however the under 17 under 19 under 23 all have four divisions and each team that competes in it gets around 50 rupees to 3000 rupees for each match depending on the results now the best way as i've said throughout this video multiple times the best way to getting into this football system is joining a football academy because most of them have uh most of them have teams entered in this entire division and uh i used to actually play in this not a lot i used to play futsal in this thing which is another huge thing in india if you want to become a futsal player india is another huge place where you can do that let me know in the comments if you want me to do that video as well i will try however let's stick to this video for now most football academies have one and also in india your neck like, football academies are very accessible like in your own area you can probably look in a 2 km 3 km radius you'll find five or six very good pitches and very good academies there are many people i know who are starting all these small uh, football pitches but they're going really well uh, me and my friends once played this uh, pitch which was literally in the middle of a village it was in the middle of a village and honestly it's one of the best turfs i've ever played on and this is properly india this is what india is it's all these rural places and these places in the middle of nowhere 
They come up from absolutely nowhere, but yet they're gonna have some of the greatest kick arounds. And that is the great thing about the Indian football system. Because it can literally be played anywhere as long as you have a ref. If the ref is there, you have a match. That's literally the Indian football division. And now we're getting into the outro. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, please like share and subscribe if you are new please tell me if you'd like me to continue these kind of videos i had so much fun making this video also shout out to one of my friends who recommended me to make this video because honestly it's one of the best videos i've made and uh please tell me if you like what you're seeing and please tell me if you don't like what you're seeing because i need as much advice as possible I know the mic is bad. Other than that, the content wise, if everything is nice, please tell me. If everything is bad, please tell me. I need as much advice as possible to get through this YouTube thing. But anyway, until the next part of this series, I'm already telling you, peace. Wait. Yeah, peace.